So I want to take the XZ plane and I want to offset it. We're going to say OK. And then we're going to create a 2D sketch on this plane. And again, we're going to take a control vertex spline and we're just going to create something like this and we're going to finish sketch. So now at the end of part, drag down, we're going to edit our 3D sketch. If we select project, the face is the cylinder, the curve is this curve, and we're going to wrap to surface. And when we apply, it now wraps it around our cylinder. All right, so again, the, the main issue here and the problem that I see people have from time to time is the fact that it's not very apparent that even though in a 3D sketch you select a plane to sketch on, it's not considered planar. So by far the most easiest way to do this uh, when you're projecting is to create that 2D sketch and project it to the surface. All right, so that's by far going to be the easiest way for you to create this curvature with a few varying exceptions. But as you start learning and as you start playing with it, start with the 2D stuff, play around, and see how it can project and work out. So there are two more things that we want to explore in here. So I'm going to come in and I want to hide this sketch. And I want to hide sketch 9. And I'm going to go ahead and hide this extruded surface. So we have two options. We want to take a look at some of our 3D sketch options. We use the drop down and create a new 3D sketch for intersection curve as well as silhouette curve. All right, so as we look at this, let's start with intersection curve. I want to show surface 2 and I want to show surface 3. So these two surfaces intersect. And let's say that we wanted to use this relation to create a curve where they go together. So we're going to use the intersection curve option. Select surface 1, select surface 2, and say OK. So now if we hide those surfaces, what we're left with is a 3D curve for where they intersect. If you view it from the front plane, assuming both of these were extruded, you would get the curve that was used to create that extrude. If we view it from the right or the left, what we get is the curve that was used to create that surface. So as we look at them, you can see how they mimic the surfaces that were used to create them. This is a very great option for creating things like curves on a car body, where you have references that are very easy to replicate in 2D. It might be a bit harder for you to replicate in 3D, but you can use this type of geometry to help create those curves. So now let's talk about silhouette curves. And when we do a silhouette curve, we're going to take a look at a little bit of a different example. So I want to start a new 3D sketch. And I want to show surface 4. Now this was our extruded surface. I'm going to rotate it around just slightly. And when we're creating a silhouette, the silhouette curve is typically going to be used for something like a parting line. All right, so if you need to create a curve or an edge where you might need to do a sweep for something like a reveal, a corner section on a molded part where parts split or bolt together or screw together, um, that's typically where you would use a silhouette curve. So we're going to take a look at silhouette. The body is going to be that extruded cylinder. The direction in this case is uh, going to be our x-axis. And then we're going to apply that. So what the silhouette curve does is it's going to go from that point and the direction we choose. And it's going to create a curve that splits that face or splits that body. So you see that we have a curve at the top and the bottom. And in this case, we have the arcs that go around. Now, if I select one of those arcs and try to delete it, I'm not able to get rid of it. All right, that's curve is, it's all sort of inclusive here. Uh, but that's okay because I can still use this geometry as a partial sweep path uh, if I needed to. For instance, if I want to create a plane based on this, I can then sketch on that new work plane, go ahead and create a new sketch, and add geometry for our reveal. So we start at this point, maybe come down and we add some draft to it and then we can use that to for instance do an extrude cut on a solid body uh, so all that information is very helpful because we can do things with just a little bit of information without having to do a couple extra steps to create that cut and to create that reveal or whatever geometry you're trying to replicate. So a silhouette curve can be pretty helpful if you want to split, slice, or bisect a part or surface of face. So as we get into our next example, we're going to start to explore actually using some of these curves in practice because that's of course the whole point of this module, this lesson, is to figure out 
how these curves work in the real world, right? So far, we've just taken some basic examples. We made some revolves and some geometry for a water jug, but the 3D stuff doesn't really make a whole lot of sense because it's, it's hard to visualize or conceptualize without an example. So we're gonna take a look at creating a surface on a car model off of some blueprints. Uh, so please stick around. We'll start to actually apply this stuff to the real world and, and hopefully give you some information to make the connection between what we're doing here and what you can actually do with this stuff. Make sure that you save this if you want to reference it. I'm going to go ahead and save a version of this so you have the original without the extra stuff that we did here as well as the ending point if you want to reference that for any reason. 